Welcome to a new video on Science123. Today I will be your narrator as we discover the underwater world. But before we start, please make sure to check our other videos and subscribe to the channel. Sea creatures are those animals that live in the seas and oceans of the earth. They vary greatly in size and appearance, ranging from large squids to tiny crabs and lobsters. Every part of sea and ocean is inhabited by sea creatures, fish and mammals like whales and seals swim on the surface of the water. Lobsters and echinoderms like sea creatures inhabit coral reefs, barnacles, sea anemones, starfish and octopuses live near the shore in tight pools, shallow water and under logs. Copods and krill live in the open sea. Examples of sea creatures are mammals, mollusks, pinnipeds, echinoderms, etc. Now that you know what sea creatures are and some examples of them, so this is time to move into our facts about them. Why do whales explode? When a dead whale accidentally gets washed up on a beach, it begins to decompose as it's not eaten up by sharks or other fishes. During decomposition, various gases like methane and carbon dioxide are produced within its body. But since there is a thick layer of blubber under the skin of the whales, the gases cannot escape out. Thus, they begin to build up inside the whale's body, causing it to bloat. Now, such gases are also produced in other animals after their death, but since the body of a whale is large, it produces more gases, thus increasing the pressure in its body. Eventually, due to the increased pressure, the accumulated gases, tissues, flesh, etc. forcefully come out through weak points, thus creating an explosion. Hence, it is always advised to not stand or sit on a dead whale, because it might lead to an increased pressure at weak spots, thus causing an explosion. How do dolphins sleep? Like humans, dolphins are mammals. They breathe through the lungs. Hence, dolphins need to come up to the surface of the water at regular intervals to breathe. Although dolphins have to protect themselves from dangerous predators, hence, they always need to be alert. Each eye of a dolphin is directly connected to the opposite hemisphere of the brain. Now, while sleeping, a dolphin shuts one hemisphere and the opposite eye. In the meantime, the other active hemisphere keeps track of internal bodily functions like breathing, and the open eye looks out for predators. After two to four hours, the dolphin swaps the sleeping task. It awakens the closed eye and resting hemisphere and shuts down the active hemisphere and the open eye. This type of sleep is called unihemisphere slow wave sleep. How can oysters change their gender? Oysters can change gender. Oysters usually have female and male chromosomes, so the oyster can change their gender by deciding which chromosome to act with. How can the immortal jellyfish live forever? Toritopsis dorni, also known as Toritopsis nutricula, is capable of reverting back to a younger version of itself. It does that when it's facing starvation or other stresses in its environment. But how does this happen? The life cycle of the jellyfish starts from an egg to a plant larva to a polyp to a strobula to an ephyria, then the other jellyfish. So when the jellyfish finds itself in danger, it produces a polyp which grows again into another jellyfish. Actually, the jellyfish can die if it's eaten or killed, but it can produce a polyp just before it dies. This is an example of asexual reproduction. Why do octopuses have three hearts? 
one of the heart controls four of the limbs, other heart controls the other four, and the most important heart provides blood to the octopus body. How does an electric eel produce electricity? Structure near the electric eel sail called electric organ produce up to a volt of electricity, about two thirds as much as a AA battery. But how does this work? The eel's brain sends a signal through its nervous system to the electric organ, which is filled with stacks of hundreds of thousands of disc shaped cells called electrocytes. Normally, electrocytes pump out sodium and potassium ions to maintain a positive charge outside and a negative charge inside. It prompts the ion's gates to open. Positively charged ions flow back in. Now, one face of the electrocyte is negatively charged outside and positively charged inside, but the far side has the opposite charge button. These alternating charges can drive a current, turning the electrocyte into a biological battery. So there you are with 6 fun facts about sea creatures ranging from whales and dolphins to octopuses and oysters. We hope you had a great time watching this video and please like, subscribe and comment on your favorite fact that you learned today. Until the next time in a new Science 123 video. Goodbye!